he cheered it on and was waiting for a verdict that could boost his own political fortunes. Luckily, justice prevailed. This was clearly an anticlimax for one Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga. It is common knowledge that it is Raila and ODM that invited the International Criminal Court to arbitrate a domestic political competition. It was again the same ODM and then led by Honorable Anyang Nyong at the Secretary General that wrote to the UN Security Council to stop the shuttle diplomacy then started by the Kibaki administration. They went, and this is ODM and Raila, they went to the extent of barring the United Nations, which wanted to refer the cases to be settled in Kenya. The owners of the ICC process are now mourning its collapse. The collapse of the cases does not spell doom for Africa. And I want to repeat that. Raila Odinga said the collapse of the Kenyan cases spell doom for Africa. It doesn't. But their evil scheme and the signals that ends the political careers which was to be built on the misfortunes of others. The career of the court leader was to be built on either the jailing of the president and the deputy president. Unfortunately, their evil schemes has collapsed and the signal that he sends is the end of their political career. We understand as a coalition Honorable Raila's bitterness, and it runs deep into his veins. He had made a massive emotional and political investment in the ICC. I want to make it very, very clear. He, he has made massive emotional and political investment in cohort with his friends in the West in the ICC case against the Kenyan leaders. You have Raila Odinga here sending a congratulation message to one Deputy President William Ruto. You have the same Raila Odinga after three days or four days in a foreign land saying that he regrets the judgment of the cases against the two Kenyans, the Deputy President and the Joshua Arab son. But if you go back the history lane. It is now beyond reasonable doubt that the local component of the ICC case against the six Kenyans is confirmed beyond reasonable doubt the team leader is none other than Raila Omar Odinga from his own utterances. The post-election violence was a, a reflex action as a result of the disputed elections. And no way you can say that you leave the people who are competing then, Mwaiki Baki and Raila Odinga, and you say two people in the name of William Ruto and Joshua Arab Sang will bear the greatest responsibility for the post-election violence. That was ridiculous. But now we have none. The owner has come out, and I'm sure those who have coached witnesses, those who have paid witnesses, the deputy president, the president, and all the six members have forgiven them. It is them and their creator.